there, and welcome to episode 205 of this series, where I play the regions of Europe one by one on GeoGuessr. Doing so in a tennis match format, as outlined in the rules you just saw, basically meaning that I give myself time penalties to finish the game if I am successful in scoring points by playing 5,000 point rounds within the time limits I set myself, and knocking two minutes off the total game time whenever I play a 5,000 point round. Also, if I finish the previous episode on a 5,000 point round, I'm knocking two minutes off the total game time of the next episode. And uh, the um, initial game time is 30 minutes, but since I finished last, yesterday's episode with a 5,000 point round, I'll be starting today with 28 minutes on the clock. And today we're heading into Sweden and we're heading into the region of Södermanlan. Or Sörmlan, as the locals would be. Uh, would be translating it as Södermanland, South Man's Land, <laughs> uh, or I think they as I also call it. Um, I think they also call it Södermania or something like that. Uh, but anyways, so Södermanland, or Sörmland has uh, well about two hundred ninety thousand people living there. There's uh, they are distributed across 5,600 square kilometers, and the capital of the area is the town of Nyköping, which has 38, almost 39,000 people. And the largest city of the area is Eskilstuna, which doesn't have anything to do with tuna, just, just so you know. The tuna means um, yard, and Eskil is, the, is a man's name. So, and Eskilstuna has just shy of 70,000 people living there. So, uh, well, I haven't been much to Sweden, weirdly enough, given how close to Sweden I live. Um, I've definitely never been to this part of Sweden. So, but I guess we'll get quite a few woods, some farmland, and some outback roads. And hopefully we'll find ourselves in some of these towns and cities. So... Let's go have a look. Play. Okay, so 25.55. That's a nice target for me. So yeah, 28 minutes on the clock. We are at 4 all in the first set and 30.30 in the current game. Ah. Well, that's not promising except this thing, which hopefully will be um, what saves me. That's, oh, no, that was just an M, wasn't it? Yeah, and you'll see this. You'll see this, at least in Sweden and Norway, you'll see these little signs with M's here and there. And uh, you'll find them on these narrow, narrow crooked roads where it's hard to pass. Eskedalen, okay. And the M basically just stands for a meet, meeting spot. I hear that, well, not so that you're supposed to meet people there, but... It is a spot for you to pull off if you're facing oncoming traffic. And uh, it is considered rather bad banners not to use one of those when it's on your side of the road. And uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, that's a big one that wasn't even signed. So we're going downhill here, so it might be be a good thing that I went northwards. Normally I would head towards the sea and the sea would be the opposite direction of this. Of course it could be very far in, inland like for instance somewhere up by Eskils 2 now and then heading towards the sea would not make a lot of sense. I can see a big lake here Uh, we could be at this for a while, I think. <laughs> okay. So, so far we don't have much to go by. We have a lake, we have... That's a huntsman's post. I guess for hunting deer and moose. Uh, so yeah, so far we've got lake, and we got assigned to some place called, called Eskedalen. I don't think it means... Uh, well, 
esque it could probably mean something else than a cardboard box. <laughs> so, uh, Dalen would be a valley. And I'm starting to think that this was not the best choice after all. But that is for almost three minutes. Oh, here we got something. Kalkbro Kalk and Åkers stick broken Scott Wang's groove Scott Scott Wong's groove three kilometers. I think and this place is called Ulva. Right, I think we just have to try and go those three kilometers. And of course I've already forgot what the names of these places were. Crikey. Ah oh well. And Scott Wong's groove. Ah. Okay, so there's a mine in the opposite direction. Groove. Meaning mine. Yeah, we're coming into some populated spot here. And of course, as soon as we do that, the footage is going haywire. Strengness. Okay, Strengness. Um, Strengness is up here. Now, can we find Orkus Stöckebruk? Here we go. Um, now we're approaching it from the south. So, are we along this road? Okay, let's see. Laxna. So, I would say that we're most likely coming down this road. Um, I just want to confirm one thing before I head back. I don't really know if I have the time for it, that's the trouble. And we got this ancient decrepit footage. But... Um, unless we were over here. Bread, schön, Alex, schön. No, we must be on this road, right? I'm fairly certain of that. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna take a chance here. Let's see. Yeah, I think... Come on, what happened now? What happened here? Why can't I... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. So, I believe we are here somewhere. Time is running out, and let's see, this should be, yeah, we must be, we must be here, and we are just north of this road, um, mm. how close to the bend are we, not very, so much closer to the road, let's say that we're here, no, 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 I should have taken more time with that. 30.40, still 28 minutes on the clock. Blast. That was not good. Okay, let's ready myself. Okay, we got a proper road, and we got some houses. And even got Björkvik and Juvik. So that is Birch Bay and Deep Bay. And 20 and 28 kilometers to the east. But could be anywhere. Let's see if this place has a name. Oh, and we got an intersection. Good. Okay, so we're between Norrköping and Katrina Holm. So that's Norrköping. Katrina Holm is up here. Okay, and we are on the. What does it say over here? We're on the 55. On the 55. So this is the 55. Hmm. And co-running with the 56, so it must be up here somewhere. But 
much the distances don't quite make sense. Let's see. Whoops, what did it say here? Pjörkvik, Jupvik, and the ball. Hmm. So if Katrina Holm is up there, let's end the ball. So we aren't here. Well, actually, we could well be here. So does this one lead on to Jupvik? There we go. So we are somewhere. Oh no, don't the house. Oh, okay, the houses do show. Thank goodness. Let's see. So we got a house there. We've got a cluster of houses there. That, that must be those. So that must be this one. And um, <laughs> let's see. I think we need to check like so. Let's see. One, two, three. We're in the middle of the house. And then one, two, three, four, five. That takes us to the bus stop, which should be about here. Yes. That brings us to Deuce. 40, 40. 26 minutes left on the clock. Is that a church or a manor? Whoa. Okay. That's a lot of potholes. That's a church. And... That's Valen. That's usually the Valen is usually the name of a sports field, and yet we definitely do have a sports field here. I think. Oh yeah. Welcome to Hedas Valen, home field for more than 400 youth or young people. Okay, so and it actually seems like I might have picked the right way to go for once. So what town is this? I doubt that the town is called Hadad. The church might be called it, but Hadad means Municipality Trosa Landsvägen. Bergvägen. Let's see if we can find something major. Mm. Nope. Ödesbyvägen. Neckrosleden, the water lily. Lead. So there's a. Well, if I go that way, I'll just wind up back at the church. Let's see. If we head into town. Seems very suburban. That's a dead end. I'll have to go this way then. Oh, time is ticking. I'm going to need some uh, proper information. So, well, it doesn't seem to be like a very big town, but uh, still, let's see what we got here. Udes B factory area. Vang head up. Okay, now we're on some major road. That leads to Trosa and Södertälje, the 218. Now, so the telly is over here, that's in the Stockholm area. And we're on the 218, why might that be to Trosa? 218. Here's Trosa, here's Vang in okay. Right, let's see, so we are currently here, let's see, so we came, where's the church? Where is the church? Let's see. Um, Ödesbyvägen. And Bergvägen, Troslandsvägen. 
Trosa Landskyrka, here we are, that's the church we were at. And um, we're about here. Let's see. Closer to here, more like it. Let's try that. No! Ah, man, I've so totally lost my touch when it comes to these things. That's so bad. 26 minutes on the clock. Advantage to the game. Right. Okay. Um, okay, if I don't pinpoint this one, that's going to be a major disappointment. Okay, so there's a library. But unfortunately, it only says past time yard here. So, I guess that's a facility for young people to like a youth club or something a place where they can spend their spare time um right a kiosk uh, this must be an eskils 2 not on new shopping i guess major road can we f no, that's not a major road, but it's a road. Can we find our way up on it? Where are you going? Mm, can we get to that road from this direction, maybe? Classic garage, okay. Please let this road have a name. No, what well, actually it does? It's called Stick Junkerwegen. Okay. And here we can get to 2.30 to Katrina Holm. We can get to downtown, whatever this is. We can go to Torshella and Tuna Park. I am going to venture, I guess, that we are in Eskils 2 now. Borsakna. Okay, so we're on the 2.30 between Torshella and Katrina Holm. So Eskils Tuna is up here. There's the 2.30 and there's Borsakna. And let's see. So we came from the road to Borsökna on the 230. Where's my roundabout? Borsökna is to the west. So I guess we could be here, but we're not. How about here? That's not it either. Nor is it that. This one or the other. No, looked promising, but wasn't. Um, mm. Let's have a look at the signs up here again. Tosh Hella Tuna Park, Park and Zoo to the north. Oh, it could be here. Yes, here we are. Let's see. So we came from underneath here and we were. Mm -mm. Somewhere over here, I think. Let's see. So we got these apartment blocks. And we have that thing. Lagersberg School, and that must be that thing. That's a school. And there's a question is this that? And I think. It might be I'm missing this building here though. Let's see, I can't tarry too much. Let's see, well now we got this road up to the side. No, this is that. The building this building is this is that one. 
and we're looking let's see perpendicular we're looking about here so we should be here ish yes back to deuce this is an important game whoever wins this match me or the, or the computer me or the game will be serving for the match uh, sorry serving for the set in the next game let's see okay final round and okay so we got some distance signs over there that's good and they go in both directions which is even better let's take the ones that are the furthest away first oh this is good we're in the 52 Oh, turn on the way with the knee herping. Bad boy and scarf star. And we're going towards the west and something called Minninge. On the 52 towards knee herping. There's the 52. And let's see, can we find bad boy and scarf star? A scarf star. Can we find Minninge? Must be this one, right? No, that's not right. Because the road is curving that way. But we could be here. It has the mending a road. Let's see, and we were next to a lay-by. Yes. We got this thing here. And we are let's see, let's count between the ends. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7 to that end and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to that end. Okay, so we've got 10 and 7, uh, 10 and 7, that's 17. So that's 8 and a half. And we want 7 that way. So that's 4 and a quarter and let's see so oh, that's six and some change seven should be around there yes that gives us the advantage coming into the next game and yeah I am not very pleased with how this went and I guess you could tell because that one and that one well that one was permissible because that was in a rather bad spot to put it lightly but missing that one so badly that's just not on that was I had the time to take more time and I should have but I didn't so yeah that's squarely on me but yeah that is episode 200 uh, 205 and Söderbandan done. Please check into more for episode 206. Until then, bye-bye.